Good morning. We are in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Every cheer squad known to man. All of them are here. Dying for Just ten percent of them. <laughs> so yeah. And their families. Anyway. They're all here. Anyways. We're happy to be here as well. Though. And we're not even going to quite a here? passage. We're going to Kilimanjaro Spurries this morning to go see oh, it while it's so cool. See all the and the hopefully um, have a good time there. We still are in the pot of people because we got here early enough to be a Nikki. before the actual gate's open. So I think they're going to walk us all the way to Avatar, but we'll figure it out. Hello, little otters. We are the first ones to see you this morning, which is why you're out in about. Otter Grotto is back open. So we're looking at this. Hi! So while we have this cool background, we'll give you a little bit of insight what's going on. Everyone goes to Avatar. We split off to go towards Kilimanjaro Safari, which of course, as my predictions were going to be, it doesn't open until 8. Which, it's 20 minutes till 8 right now. And that makes us 20 minutes early and standing in another rope. Um, because of that, and because there's no foreknowledge of that until you get all the way up to Africa, it's kind of uh, silly that they don't inform you of that as you're coming in. They just assume everyone's going to Avatar because, you know, they just assume. And you'll have to assume. Um, but because of that, that has made us had to make a choice. We were going to, okay, so, you know, we'll do River Journey, I guess. We'll figure it out. We'll do that instead, right? Well, no. Um, we split off because we saw people going towards Safari, thinking, okay, that means that must be open. It's not. So because that's the case, we did not go to River Journey. Now missing the, the window that we had to actually be able to get in and do it at a decent amount of time and a decent amount of wait. Um, so because of that, now we still have 17 minutes before we can get onto Kilimanjaro. And we're going to go talk to guest relations to figure out why they don't inform you of the actual park open times when they let you into the park and avatar is now running right now but they don't tell you for other park guests when they could easily do so that hey only avatar is going to be open if you want to ride a ride between this time and eight and also there are people running very quickly that i need to try to avoid getting run over by it's very dangerous uh hopefully no one gets hurt because the people running uh, but yeah, it's very, very dangerous, these people running like that. Uh, you know, no running, um, but there's no cast members to stop them from running, so they're going to run and knock people over and do whatever they have to do to get to a ride, which is very, again, very dangerous. So next time, maybe they should put more cast members along the pathway. Yeah. Good morning. Goodbye! Looks like you're never going to see any of them ever again. In the water. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Also, on your left hand side, the big white birds on the island are pink backed pelicans. During mating season, it appears as if the feathers. Ooh, and over on your left hand side, there's a couple of African wild dogs coming through the bushes here. Hold your cameras above your head, and it might be easier to get a picture. Also called painted dogs because of their unique coat patterns. Springbok. They're very small and very cute, but they are not babies. They're actually fully grown. About three to four feet tall, as big as those little guys are ever gonna get. And there goes that giraffe on your right. Like I said, that's a Maasai giraffe. Maasai giraffes tend to have more of a messier or a... And then another sable over here on your right hand side. And the darker the coat on the sable, the more dominant and mature they tend to boost their numbers a little bit. We're still in luck today. There are quite a few elephants out there on your left. It's probably a small herd. These are going to be any females and younger males that are still around. Both the male and the female elephants have tusks. And there is a baby elephant out there. She's just past the one that's kind of on the right hand side of the herd. Eating some veggies. Here she comes. Lion. Now it's actually really cool to see a lion out in the open like that and awake. You look at him here. Oh, how pretty she is. Dogs. You can see their burrows on the hillside too. Is it like Pumbaa? Now, while Simba does mean lion in Swahili, Pumbaa does not mean warthog. It actually means foolish one. 
as you can see, we've sat down to have coffee and pastries. Uh, Diane and I just got off of the safari ride. We did go to guest services, we talked to them. They were unwilling or unable to help us, but we got conflicting information from the two cast members. They were saying next to each other about what was going on and why. Um, so that was kind of unfortunate that they didn't have, not, not that they had um, conflicting answers, is that they, they didn't know what was going on, obviously. If both of them had different reports on what's happening, that means neither of them actually knew what was going on, um, which was kind of confusing to us. Uh, we still got to ride Safari. They did not let us through to Africa until 8 o'clock, although Pandora had been open for almost a half hour since before then. Um, they stated that the reasoning is that Extra Magic Hour starts at 8, but it doesn't. It starts whenever they decide it starts. And they just decided that the other rides, other than Pandora, which started at 8, which is fine, but no one tells anybody that. Um, Navi was also down this morning, so even if we wanted to go to there, we'd have been down. So it was just a very unfortunate morning for Animal Kingdom to not have, you know, let everybody know what was going on. There was a large number of people that got all the way into the park to get checked to see if they were hotel guests that got turned away because they weren't. Um, so that was an issue as well. It's one of the things that happens with a lot of these large competitions, the cheer and dance competitions, is some of these different people are staying at varying hotels, etc., and they don't realize that they're not able. So they were up super early and they were even more disappointed because they weren't aware that they weren't able to get in. Um, of course, that stuff's online and readily available to find out, but it doesn't mean everyone's gonna know it, and it would be a lot better once they get here to start saying that rather than wait till they waited in line for 20 minutes, finally get pushed through to the next spot, and then find out, because that makes it much more unfortunate for them. They can't actually go anywhere at that point. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have our Starbucks. It is still 8.42. We still have 18 minutes left of this early hour. We may go right Everest after this. We probably won't. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but our next ride is... Looking at Diane for help on what Primeval. Primeval World. So maybe we'll hold off and do that a little bit after nine. Let some of this settle in our stomachs and just go kind of explore the park and Dino Land, maybe, or whatever. You'll see that and then hopefully a little bit more. So we have finished or are finishing our Starbucks. And Diane informed me that we are going to go ride Kali River Rapids after this. So I'd forgotten about that. So we're about to do that now. I'm gonna put the camera away for this whole ride. So you're not gonna see it on the camera. We're not gonna see it on our phones. It's wet, we're, putting, we're literally taking shoes off, changing the flip flops, doing all the kind of stuff you gotta do, prepare for a water ride. So we're gonna do that now. You're not gonna see anything until afterwards. So you're going away into a waterproof bag. Hopefully you don't suffocate. We'll see you afterwards. So you may be asking yourself, how? Did they enjoy Cali River Rapids? Did they like it? Are they wet? I don't look wet. Something's off. Something is off. Cali River Rapids doesn't open until 10 today, which we can only find out by going to the actual ride and seeing the physical sign, because the app won't tell you that. So, now what we're doing no, is walking. No, no. What we were going to do is go ride Single Rider Everest. So then, yeah, so then we single decided Rider to Single Rider wasn't even open. So Single Rider's not available. So now, we're gonna use our Fast Pass for Prime Evil World. Admit. Try to pu push some of our fast passes closer, and potentially, if Dinosaur the ride is still at a five to ten minute wait, ride that without a fast pass. But Primeval World has gotten a lot of people in it right now, so I don't feel as confident about um, Dinosaur being the posted five minute wait. And there's no one here to check us, so. Hey, it worked. You can steal that if you wanted to because it didn't even have a cast member holding the tablet. The tablet was just sitting there on the countertop. That was a little bit disconcerting. We did scan in, but there's no proof of that. So, weird, but whatever. Um, this day is going to be a busy and very um, potentially poor experience day. So, we shall see. That. Busy ride this morning. Feet and legs inside your time machine. Be sure to want that. Why does Mimic over there? Well, 
Yeah, it's chilly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we survived Kali River Rapids. We got into the queue right at 10 when it opened, but there was a large line already in the line. Um, so it's now 10.45. We rode it. We were off by 10.30. And we, right, we were off by 10.30, but what I'm saying is we also got uh, refreshed on sunscreen, drank some water, put our shoes back on, heading to Everest now to do our fast pass. So you saw us do the single rider line. You probably just saw the two pictures. Um, but now we're going to do our fast pass for it and then try to see if we can modify our Avatar Fly Passage to earlier. Probably won't be able to, but might as well try. And then likely go to the Nomad Lounge or somewhere over in that area to chill out. It doesn't open until 11.30, I believe. Um, but you never know. And yeah, so we'll probably continue on with this episode until we leave Animal Kingdom after Flight of Passage. But if we get a hot footage, maybe I'll cut it here. You never know. Time for Everest. sitting at uh, Nomad Lounge. We sat uh, outside at 11.10, they opened at 11.30, so we kind of hung out for about 20 minutes. And we're gonna have some apps, our favorite drinks, things are busy, and then we're gonna go ride Avatar. See then. Well, we'll show you the food probably too. Also, we got some... Sliders and the appetizers. Also appetizers we had They're serving before. appetizers here now. Yeah, they let from you click from the appetizer uh, menu now, which is kind of different, so we're gonna we see what they are. We just finished our appetizer. I'll put in a picture. It was a small charred piece of octopus and a falafel. And the falafel was really good. We both really liked the falafel. The octopus was not chewy or anything. It was, it was, it was very well, very well cooked, very buttery. It's not usual for an octopus um, tentacle. But uh, it worked out well. The stuff that was with it was pretty tasty. But I think out of the two, the falafel is the one we would order again, right? Yeah. yeah. So keep that in mind. The falafel is good. The octopus, if you like octopus, that was a very well done piece of octopus. But as you can see with the picture, it's a very small amount of food. So, you know, it is what it is. The falafel had 
all the stuff that came with it, we really liked the gift and everything else. The octopus, I kind of didn't care for the uh, yeah, all the olive and stuff like that. So that was a little bit of why it wasn't the, the favorite of those two. But now we have the sliders coming. We get the sliders with the chipotle aioli that comes on the Impossible Burger rather than the tomato jam, the tomato jam which is not something that we would ever I don't think really it's like. that bad. It's it's the chipotle little... aioli is really, really good. Yeah, so we're going to have those coming soon with the yucca bread. Here we are deep inside the caverns of Pandora, World of Avatar, Flight of Passage, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna ride this, and we got a fast pass for Splash Mountain over at Magic Kingdom for around 2 o'clock. So it's what, 2, it's 12, 30-ish right now. We'll ride this, um, make some time. It's just, no, it's a single rider. Uh, make some time. Up and then make our way to the Magic Kingdom and then rise splash. The way you're gonna do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. Okay, yeah. All right, we just got off a of flight of passage and we are exiting Animal Kingdom for the last time for this trip. Yes, and it's heading. We got it, we got here what, twice? Yeah, because um, we came first night. First night, yeah. So yeah, that's that's a pretty good amount of time here. Yeah, I feel like outside of Epcot, this is the park that we said probably the most time in. Yeah, this trip. so far, yeah. Um, but we're heading to Magic Kingdom for a Splash Mountain Fast Pass, so you'll see that in the next video.